Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another home project. So today I am actually outside my back door, as you can see, and I am going to be showing you how to install these guardian torches from Brightology. They are lights, security spotlights. They are solar powered. They are so easy to put up and you guys, they really just light up your whole yard or your front porch or really wherever you put them. I got five of them. I put one off of the each side of my house, one off of, you can see the steps right here, one down on the utility pole and one on the right side of my house. So that way my entire backyard is lit up. I can see my dogs. I can see if anyone comes up back here and I can also see both sides of my house. These went up in under two hours and I installed cameras with them. So quick, easy, simple. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. All right, y'all, we are going to jump right into this video. So start off by unboxing your little guardian torches. These are super simple. There's literally like three things in this box. So you're going to have your actual light, comes in a little bit of bubble wrap to protect it. You have your instructions and you have your hardware. That's it, the whole box. So for your hardware, you have four screws and four little anchors, perfect. You have your instructions and a little thank you code if you need to order more of them. The instructions do say that this little light is best if you put it out in the sun to charge for a full day before installing it. And that way when you go to actually turn it on and you click the light on the back, the on off switch, you know which way is on and which way is off. This little box had two sets of hardware. <laughs> And the thing I love about the hardware is there's four screws. So when I drop one off the ladder, I have an extra. <laughs> now I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew the little bolt here. It's one bolt that attaches the light to the mounting hardware. And it's just easier if you unscrew it. That way, when you go to actually drill your piece into the wood and then put the screws through, you're not hitting the light with your... Uh, screwdriver or your power drill. That's it. We're going to get started. So I'm going to take this out to my back steps where I'm going to install one of the five. Let's go. Okay. So to get started, just go ahead and hold the little mounting piece up and drill straight through with your power drill three spots. And you're just going to use a drill bit that's slightly smaller than the screws that they provide you with. Perfect. So now you can take the screws and you can actually just go ahead. I'm going to start threading one of those through the little hardware just to get it started. I only do this on the first one, the second and third one. You can kind of go once you get it situated, but I'm going to put the first one through that way. I know exactly where it's coming out the back and I can line it up with the spots that I already drilled. Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and just screw it straight into the wood. You can use the power drill for this, but you do need a longer drill bit on your power drill. So if you don't have a longer drill bit, a regular, sorry guys, my mom's taking my picture, a long handled, just good old fashioned screwdriver works as well. I like to use the old fashioned screwdriver to get it started and then I'll switch from the drill bit here to the long um, oh, I can't even think of the word I just said it to the longer screw bit perfect all right that is quite the hairdo it's all right. I don't think it lasts long. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put my hair up in like half a second. Perfect. The first one's on. It feels secure. And now all we have to do is put the second and third screws in. I've decided at this point that since I'm looking down over my steps, 
it's just easier to use the old-fashioned screwdriver than to try and go upside down with the drill bit on the power trowel. But you do whatever is easiest for you. Now you can see here that this is three screws and this is in real time. Like I haven't sped this up. I haven't put it on fast forward. It takes a minute, but it only takes a minute. It does not take like even 12 minutes. So easy enough. There we go. There goes the hair. <laughs> Perfect. Much better. All right, let's finish this off. Cinnamon is going to help. All right, and since I'm going directly into wood on this one, I didn't need the anchors. I ended up mounting the five of these, um, three of them into the eaves on my house, which are wood and in some places cement board. So I didn't need the anchors on those. I didn't need the anchors here since this is actual wood. And then I mounted the fifth one on the power pole behind my house, which is also wood. So I didn't need the anchors for any of them. But if you're mounting into drywall of any kind or anything that doesn't have substance behind it, then you'll want to drill a slightly bigger spot put the anchor in and then drill into the anchor and that'll just hold everything steadier, tighter, make sure it doesn't fall off, rip part of your wall out, you know, the whole nine. Perfect. All right, so now once we get all three of these screwed on, we are going to go ahead and reattach the actual light. And that is probably the easiest part. So the light itself has a full, I want to say 360 degree swivel where you can turn it from left to right. And then it has the little bolt that we're reattaching right now. And the bolt will allow you to move it up or down. So you can really angle this little light pretty much wherever you like it. You can see I just angled it up more. So it's trying to hit most of my backyard. I'm going to tighten it exactly where I want. You'll hit the on off switch when it flashes, you know, it's on and you're good to go. Bye y'all.